Monopoly project and we're here to discuss the uh, house in Levine. You've seen some of the previous videos on we bought a house during escrow it got shot up, shot up literally with a gun and so we're here to have an actual decision meeting. We're going to decide whether to go ahead. We have Jeff Sutherland of ERP Realty, our real estate EXP agent. Realty. EXP, yeah. sorry. Yeah. No problem. And we also have Sherman Weeks, our property manager of Crest Premier Properties. This All is right. also his place, very nice mm -hmm. place. Thank you for letting us use it. And so what we're going to do is we have an agenda here. Um, we've gone, we've gone, what we're going to ask is to Sherman, Jeff, and Michelle each have some additional information that not everybody has heard and obviously you've not heard it. So we're going to, we're going to get that out of the way first so that everybody has the same set of information to, when we get into our decision process. And then Jeff was very interesting when we got the call, you know, um, from Sherman stating that when he arrived that the windows were uh, knocked out, they were shot out, and uh, there were bullet holes in the walls, and so I know that Jim went out with you to take a peek at, you know, you and uh, Jim, and then Jim took me out on Saturday, you know, and I saw that too, and, uh, you know, it was kind of um, calculated, in my opinion, and so I went around to talk to the neighbors to see if anybody's out there, and I found a um, couple, uh, this lady was out there, and um, she said that her wife was in the house while she was at work, and um, her gunshots had called her spouse, stating that there's gunshots outside. And so her spouse recommended that she call 911. And so um, there is an app in the neighborhood that everybody talks on. Mm. And other people heard about it too. So mm. they were all saying, mm. call 911, it sounds like gunshots versus firecrackers. Mm. You know, because we were saying, oh, is it firecrackers? And they're like, no, 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 it's gunshots. Someone should call the police, you know, and stuff like that. So apparently on the, on the app, everybody said nobody called the police. So that's what they told me. And I have her number. So I said, you know, that was on, that was earlier in the week. Can you go follow up on that app and see if there's any more talk about it, you know, and stuff? So she said, okay, so I, um, she said, no, no one's talking about it anymore. So it's old news because, you know, it's, it happened, it's done. Mm -hmm. So then I walked around the corner and um, we uh, walked to this house where the gunman must have stood right mm -hmm. there in front of the house. And so I knocked on her door and she knocked and she was reluctant a little bit at first. Mm -hmm. And so I said, hey, no, this is, you know, possibly a new neighbor and our, you know, we're in the escrow in this house, and she opened up her door and started talking to me. So she came out, and uh, she was telling me that, uh, I said, what happened? You had to have seen something or something, you know? And she said, she goes, well, it was about 9.30, 10 o'clock or so, and I was getting ready to go to bed, and all of a sudden I heard the gunshots, and it was right there. So I ran up to my room, and I said, then you looked out the window. And she goes, no, I grabbed my gun and ran back downstairs and was going to confront the guy. Wow. She said, right before I heard it, oh I heard a man's voice, she said. And then she heard the gunshots, ran upstairs, grabbed her gun, ran back downstairs, opened her door, and had, and, and had her gun. I said, are you nuts? And she said, well, I'm not going to let that happen around here in my place. And so then she said she shut the door and went around her back a patio. And um, she had her gun there, and she was sur uh, surveillancing her patio and anything around it. And uh, then she went back out front and saw all the glass broken and everything. And her neighbor, who is directly in front, they mm -hmm. started talking. Her neighbor called the police, she said. And that's how, I guess, the police report started. So, um, but, okay. So we talked. Her best advice was pray about it and see if that mm -hmm. you should buy it or not, you know. So then I went around the corner, and I talked to the same lady I spoke to two weeks ago. Yeah, when we were there, Jeff, remember? Oh, yes. I don't yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jeff and Katie and, and yeah. I and Michelle were there, and we talked about her. Yes, yes, so I spoke to her. Her name's Lisa. So yeah. she was in, she so had a garage door open with two cars in there, and one car had all the doors wide open. So I felt awkward going through the garage door, because I'm wondering what kind of neighborhood this is, you know, and I don't want to get shot either. So I walked around to the front of the door, knocked on her door, and once again, reluctantly, who is this? Who is this? I said, it's me. I said, it's your maybe, maybe neighbor, you know, and she opened the door and she goes, oh, I know I heard, you know, 
and stuff. So we started talking about it. You know, she said that she heard it too. Um, then her husband, you know, she introduced me to her son, her 10 year old son. And then her husband said that he doesn't think it'll be back because he thinks that, you know, who uh, they said it was, um, a couple that lived there over four years and it kind of confirmed what the neighbor had said. And, um, they were very quiet neighbors, no children, no ex, ex uh, extra activity of people coming through. Mm -hmm. But he did have an interesting thing. He said that an Impala car drove up in their drive, in the back of their drive, two times earlier that day. And they caught their eye that, you know, they hadn't seen the car before and stuff. And I felt uncomfortable asking the color and everything because I didn't want to start something, you know, or make him paranoid or... So, um, but he did say that there was a strange car that went up and down the driveway twice. Mm. And they're very, um, let me think about this, their garage door is always open, you know, they have mm. no, but it keeps keep their windows pretty shut, so. Yeah. And, and the interesting thing, going back to the second woman, the one who lived diagonally right opposite, she said she had lived there five years, and they were there. This was the first time that something like this had ever happened, obviously, she said it wasn't. Yeah. And then the other neighbor, you know, said that uh, she let her son play out, you know, out mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, what happened is not typical of this neighborhood. Right. Like, can't be typical of almost any neighborhood. But you know what we found interesting is, and I have a picture of the, the what they did to the wall, but I have, a, um, I also want to say this, is, is that um, when Jim and I drove up and I was in the, in the front of the walkway, mm -hmm. I found a bullet shell mm -hmm. as a, to a 22 and not 22. to something that was um so this yeah. is what i did yeah. was i took my hand and put my hand so you would have some kind of measuring stick mm. to how big the holes were yeah so was isn't that interesting it's... that that's at the curb site mm. but it wasn't what made those holes no no, no. see yeah, so isn't that funny <laughs> though no, so, I, that, no. so there was a gun that was fired yeah. By the curb site. To have a bullet like that. Well, that's not what made those holes. No. No, no, no. No. But what I'm saying is is that there obviously somebody had shot a gun that right. delivered that size of bullet. And had been at because you know when you shut shut when you when you shoot, the casing falls out close yeah, to yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So somebody was at the end of the walkway with even a smaller gun. So this is on the north side of the property by the entry door. Yes. 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 Yeah. And it appears that the, the police who responded must have collected all the casings because we went and looked for them and couldn't find them. Except one found them in the wall, right? Did mm -hmm. you find one in the wall? I pulled out a piece of like lead. I'm yeah. not a gun person, so yeah. And then the guy the for um, Zillo also put some stuff on the, mm -hmm. the lead stuff on the counter as well. Yeah, sure, bullets. absolutely sure about that. Yeah, bullets. The actual yeah. bullets. Yeah. So. See, and they were probably trying to take the shells for, you know, any fingerprints, you know, on the shells. Yeah. The police were. So, okay, well, so that's what we learned. I mean, I, I don't think there's anything earth-shattering there that changes, yeah. changes our opinion, but uh, but uh, it was interesting. It was interesting. Yeah, very. Yeah. It's very. Yeah. Hmm.